Welcome back into Death Valley Live, presented by Wells Fargo, the halftime edition. Um, pretty good first half for the Tigers, would you say, Daja? I mean, if you want to say it was decent. I mean, are you kidding me? I, I, I don't even know when the last time we've seen this team run up on a team like this. I think you said South Carolina State, maybe 2016 or so. That's right. So, man, what an incredible first half this Tiger team had. Yeah, they uh, looked fantastic across the board, obviously not giving up any points, putting up 49. 196 push-ups already for uh, the Tiger, and I get the feeling he might be throwing some more down in the second half. Absolutely. Well, due to COVID-19, Tiger Band is unable to perform at halftime on the field this year, but in the coming weeks, they will be presenting us with some new shows. But for now, we're going to take a look back at their 2018 performance against South Carolina. Tiger Band, take it away. Tiger Band. British Showman, a musical film based on the life of P.T. Barnum. Get ready as Tiger Man evokes the circus to the music of Greatest Show and a Million Dreams.
we perform Rewrite the Stars. Always a pleasure to watch Tiger Band shake the Southland. Welcome back into the halftime edition of Death Valley Live. Mark Childress here with Dodge Davidson. Dodge, it's 49 0. Trevor Lawrence, 8 for 9, 168 yards, three touchdowns passing, one rushing touchdown. It's a pretty good day at the office. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> we got a lot of plays to choose, choose from, but let's take a look at the top three plays from the first half from our very own Don Munson. And it set, set him off with of the shoulder. Off play action, Lawrence goes. Looks downfield, gonna go long. Looking for Rodgers, finds him, touchdown! What a perfect throw. Good snap by Judy. Campbell hits a line drive kick, returnable. ETN takes it at the 50, goes right side, across the 45, 40, 35, 30, at the 25, 20, inside the 15, at the 10, into about the five yard line where he is hit and dropped. Now it's going to be third and 14. And here to pass it and then going down and dropped and hit. Coming through is Trenton Simpson, the five-star linebacker out of Charlotte, North Carolina. The freshman comes through, hits him, and has his first sack. So that's the seventh sack. Well, we picked the top three plays of the first half. We could have probably had 37 plays of the first half the way that the, <laughs> uh, the Tigers played. Well, fans, it's now time for us to take a look back at our hero of the game presented in the first quarter. In light of the pandemic, our hero was unable to attend the game, but instead was streamed in live into Death Valley. 
Fans, give a warm welcome to Sergeant Joseph Dayton Senecal, all the way from the Middle East. He currently serves with the 727th Expeditionary Air Control Squadron in support of Operation Resolute Support and Operation Inherent Resolve. Upon being recognized at Memorial Stadium, Sergeant Senecal was able to see his wife and two sons live because they are here today. He received a special package from the Operation Hat Trick as an appreciation for his service and sacrifice for our country. To grab your very own OHT gear, visit ClemsonTigers.com slash OHT. And let's give it up for our hero of the game, man. That is awesome stuff right there, Dodge. I love this stuff. Me too. It absolutely never gets old seeing them streamed in from across the world and here specifically from the Middle East. So it's my pleasure to um, to appreciate him and, and thank him for being our hero, hero of the game. All right, well, let's keep it moving and let's see what's happening around the ACC today, presented by Roto Rooter. We've got Boston College versus Duke, the final score on that. 26 Boston College over a 6 Duke. USF versus Notre Dame. Notre Dame just completely rolled Goodness. all over that. 45 to 0, Notre Dame. You've got UCF versus Georgia Tech. It's halftime. We got UCF up 28 to Georgia Tech 14. Again, Miami versus Louisville not kicking off until 7.30 tonight. We've We've got Wake Forest versus NC State kicking off at 8. And then again, Pitt, Syracuse, final score on that, 21-10, Pitt. Yeah, some surprises there, I think, a little bit. Boston College going on the road to Duke uh, and winning by 20. Pitt taking care of Syracuse, but a really low-scoring game, right? And then Notre Dame, um, Jeff Scott uh, down at USF has got his hands full. He did beat the Citadel team he last did. week. But uh, taking it on the chin up at Notre Dame this week. So he's got his work cut out for him. Absolutely. And I do want to mention, you know, we picked scores earlier. And one of our games is UCF and Georgia Tech. And I do want to mention again that they are up 28 to 14. I think that our friend Kendall Joseph picked Georgia Tech. And I'm not really sure yeah, what got, he was thinking there. They've got their work cut out for him. <laughs> uh, some second half thoughts. Uh, you know, for me, we're going to see a lot of guys play in the second half. I don't know how many they dressed. Uh, you know, 120 on the roster. They probably dressed over 100. We may see over 100 players. Oh, absolutely. Again, it's about these guys getting experience. I'm excited to see them on the field. Let's talk about, just for a second, Miles Murphy. Man, what a dog coming out in the first half. Excited to see him on the second half. Yeah, well, we hope you guys enjoyed Death Valley Live in the hour before the game and here at halftime. Go back over to the ACC Network to watch the second half or tune in on the radio side for the Clemson Tigers Network. We'll see you October 3rd against Virginia.